Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about how to margin trade on Binance. Binance.com. Okay, I'm already on the uh, main screen of my test account. This is what it will look like after you log in. Simply go up here to Trade, Classic, and then you find a coin that, uh, you know, on the list, on the upper right hand side, you see coins that say 3x, 5x, 5x, 10x, Atom is 10x, TRX is 10x. These are margin maximums. So for example, if you go to Atom, you can do cross 3x, which means crossover into other funds. Uh, it's a lower leveraged amount or lower margin amount, but there's more risk involved in the only in the sense that you are risking funds other than what you're actually trading. So if you have other trades, they can take that as well if you get liquidated. So it will increase your earnings potentially, but it could potentially also increase your losses by quite a bit. Um, I prefer to use isolated. There's a lot more happening here as far as the margin amount, the leveraged amount. So basically, the way it works is, let's say you decided to get in at a good point on Atom versus Bitcoin, 10x, isolated. What you would do is, you'd go back and you'd look at the chart, find a point where it's reached support at least twice. Um, keep in mind that support levels will change as the market becomes more bullish and as that particular altcoin becomes more bullish, but levels can pretty much be well respected multiple times. See right here you have a spike down to 45.60, happens again just before the wick, 45.70, um, gets a little bit higher, 4600, that's where it takes off, goes up, there's a nice increase of uh, you know, about 25% <clears throat> roughly. Um, it looks like this coin is going to start coming down a little bit. I would guess it's going to come down somewhere in the 5,000 range. It could go a little lower. A lot of these coins, in fact most of them, will follow Bitcoin. So you have to kind of keep that in mind, see what Bitcoin's doing, and then judge your support levels accordingly. Um, one coin I had just been pointed out to me is uh, Sushi. Sushi had some problems, but it quickly bounced back out of it after a drop. And it went down to... I can get my screen to work. It went down to 11.30, back on the 5th. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this. It looks like it's showing a good support level. One, two previous times. There's two candle bodies that perfectly match that support level. This is a likely bounce point. Let's look at the 30 minute. I would say yes. I would be willing to get in here after a little bit of confirmation, bullish confirmation from the indicators. Um, I don't have much indicators on Binance here, but I do in uh, TradingView. So basically what I would be looking at here if I wanted to do a margin trade on Sushi, the max is 3x, so I would get in right around right around 2240 like that's where it's at right now is 2242 okay so the next step would be since I have some Bitcoin already in my spot account I would click on isolated 3x 
then click on transfer collaterals. That means you're going to transfer any sushi that you already have or preferably Bitcoin from your spot account to your margin account. That's going to get you ready to make your margin entry. So transfer collaterals. Got to push the button every time. Open now. Okay, so now we're we've opened it. We've told Binance we're going to open a Sushi 3x possibly. Click on transfer collaterals. It says from spot to Sushi isolated. Yes, that's where we want to be. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to transfer Sushi? No, we don't have any yet, so we're going to transfer Bitcoin. How much do you want to trade? Uh, how about 25%? So just under 0 0.09 of a Bitcoin. So we're going to hit Confirm. And once we do this, this simply sends Bitcoin, a portion of what we have, into the Sushi Bitcoin isolated margin area. If you decide you don't want to do it or the coin drops lower or something happens and you just decide you want to do something else that looks better, you can always send it back. So I'm going to hit confirm sending 0 0.089 to, um, to the isolated margin area. Okay, so now we're in isolated 3x, 0 0.0895 and change ready to make an entry. So this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get an entry. We're going to do borrow because we're actually the way they the way they do it is they act like you're borrowing the money. So on a 3x, you're doing 3 times the amount that you actually have. So if you have um say 0 0.08, then you're borrowing 0.16 approximately. And I'm going to do 100% of that. that. I transferred. And I'm going to do margin by sushi. Confirm it. Okay, so now we are in sushi. On a margin, we can scroll down and see that we don't have any open orders. The order history says Sushi Bitcoin, about at 2257, filled. So we go up and we're in the trade. So basically, what happened last time we had this nice price peak is we went from 2156 all the way up to 3107 and that's pretty crazy because you're looking at 44 percent increase what's 44 percent times 3? 132 percent so basically what you would do is you would gain 132 percent if you had if you had this type of gain from here up to here and sold at the top, you would have 132% minus some small fees, uh, Binance charges an hourly uh, borrowing fee. It's really, really minimal. You know, it maybe adds up if you're going to stay in for weeks or a couple months. But um, you basically just pay your BNB maker and taker fees, you know, buy and sell fees. And what they show you as doing, it's quite different from futures. What they show you as doing in a trade when you want to sell, let's say I'm going to sell at 27.23. That's a nice tidy profit. So you can kind of figure out what you're going to get if you sold at 27.23. You click on repay, which is already there. You scroll down. Click it at 100%. That means you're going to sell 100% of what you what you're holding in sushi. I'm going to end up with 0.2 bitcoins from just under 0.9 bitcoins for my original um, my original investment. 
or my original trade. So what is going to happen is this 0 0.204 Bitcoin, some of that is going to pay back the 0.169 that I borrowed. And so the difference between 0 0.20 and 0.169 is going to be my profit. That's approximately 0 0.03 Bitcoins, um, which is... about $312 in profit. So that point, I don't know why that doesn't work, um, that point zero three Bitcoin is going to be added back to my point zero eight nine or so, you know, the original trade amount. I'm going to end up with about almost point one two Bitcoins just from this trade, what initially went in and what I initially will be able to keep. So let's say I sell it here at 27.23, get my profit, and then I want to send it back to spot so I can make some other normal trades with it, spot trades. So then what I would do is when I sell it, make sure it's on re repay, click 100%, sell it at my carefully deduced selling price, and um, that's it. Then you go back into transfer collaterals. You would tell it to send my Bitcoin from, got to hit this change deal, from Sushi Isolated to Spot. You would take your bit, Bitcoin, um, available amount, there would be a max amount, little thing here you could hit max amount or hit 100% and hit confirm to send it back to spot. And that's basically all you do to take out a margin trade. Now I need to specify one more time that on a margin trade just because you have that liquidation point going long meaning going up you want to make sure you get in at the bottom. Um, if you get in at a midpoint right here things could change go back the other way, but if you have good support, like what we have here, there is no reason you can't gain a good amount on a margin trade. Now also keep in mind that, you know, some people want to go more conservative at first, especially kind of learning the ropes, margin trading, kind of risky, you know, a little bit more risky than spot, um, really don't want to get liquidated, maybe they want to go to sleep. So you can actually use margin trading just like scalping. You know, say you want to take, I don't know, 5% or 3% or 2%. That's going to be magnified by this 3x right here. Or in other cases, 5x and in some coins, 10x. So um, you can use it. You can scalp margin. You can scalp futures, just like you would scalp anything in spot. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope I uh, have helped you guys figure out how to how to use this margin trading and how it works. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.